A lot of times uh, when we're uh, talking about this Prediction X effort in, in many different venues, people say, oh, you must be doing a lot about astrology because they know I'm an astronomer. Right, right. And I say, no, actually, I know nothing about astrology. But given how many people are very, very interested in their own horoscope today, mm -hmm. and people have been interested in that for generations, um, we really thought it was important uh, to include an expert astrologer modern astrologer um, in the course, not Isaac Newton, who's an expert old astrologer. <laughs> when I think of astrology, I think of it's man in astronomy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this kind of how it might affect that person, yeah. those, those planets around the person. So when we look at a chart, um, we are looking at the center as if you were standing in the center and the center is Earth. Okay. Okay, so obviously, you know, the solar system is it would be heliocentric. Right. But when we look at it, we're looking at it from you on the Earth and what the planets are symbolizing about you. Is there any kind of like physical connection between the actual pull of planets, for example, on a person and what, what is forecast for them? It, everything's interconnected. Okay. And so that's my sense. And, and that the movements do affect us. And um, I'm not sure what it is, but I can tell you after years of working with people in charts, mm -hmm. it's uncanny what a chart reveals mm -hmm. and what the movements of the planets or stars can say about the person. Well, you what's got me happen. very curious. Though. So, I, so yeah. I'm not sure what the, yeah. the exact connection. I know there's a connection. Okay, you know, and um, from from observation, personal observation. Right. You know, not just going on faith, but that. Oh, this is this is amazing how you know certain things um, just so, come so over, if, if out I over and over. A lot of it is like people have done this kind of um, uh, astrology for thousands of years, yep. and yep. Uh, you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but but the, the, this kind of learned more and more about what kind of things you can predict from the positions of of planets. Exactly. Okay. I think a lot of this is in some ways pattern recognition. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have certain combinations, certain things tend to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, it, Now, would the same things happen for all people born at the same time in the same place? No. And that's what become that that's where it's interesting. Mm. So I was just going to say, okay. I, I don't believe that everything's set in stone. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that there's basic patterns and then we have this free will to move within these patterns. Okay. So you'll see some people with a certain configuration that's very pronounced and you'll go, oh, that person's gonna be very successful or they can do, and maybe that doesn't fully materialize. And mm -hmm. if they had somebody else born, born on that date at that place, place mm -hmm. is important too, mm -hmm. um, at that time, which mm -hmm. is very important at the time, uh, they may completely you know, fulfill that potential that we're reading Got in it. the chart. Astrology, because it's so intricate, is about the relationships between that planet and the sign, which means the part of the sky it was in, mm -hmm. um, and how it's relating to the other planets and relating to Earth at a particular time or a particular day or a particular place. What would you say is the balance among your clients of people who are very seriously looking to you for advice about you know, business decisions and their love life and whatever, and, and then other people who are just kind of curious and mm -hmm. want to have the experience of knowing their horoscope. In my, in my practice, yeah. I would say uh, I'm about 80, 85% more serious okay. right. uh, guidance and right. maybe 15 to 20% more of the curious. Got it. Do you ever give people bad news? Well, I don't look at anything as bad or good. I look at it all as energy. I'll tell people what to look for. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can tell when there's going to be a lot of change, right. okay? I can tell when somebody's going to go, they're going to need to let something big go, mm -hmm. okay? So I can tell if there's something going on maybe with Pluto working or, or Saturn aspecting Pluto that, that they're going to have to let a way of being go or there's some aspect of their lifestyle that needs to change. And my feeling is, I'm kind of an optimist anyway, but my feeling is is that how I read astrology is it's a way to understand ourselves in our lives mm -hmm. to help us. Mm -hmm. So if there are the more difficult or you're saying bad or challenging aspects, I ultimately see it from the big picture is trying to help us evolve. Given that we were talking about this being a long tradition and that mm -hmm. people didn't know Pluto was even there or that it was a planet or a dwarf planet or whatever we want to call it, <laughs> yeah. something in the solar system. Um, 
does it have new significance because it exists or? Well, I, I understand your question. So yeah, we didn't read the three outer planets, right? Mm -hmm. Until the last, what, 150 years or mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And so um, we wouldn't have looked at that probably as aspecting Pluto. This is your map of you. Okay. And this My is universe. this is your universe. Got this it. is giving okay. me a like a like a Polaroid okay. of what was in the sky. Okay. Okay. And so um, when you were born, mm -hmm. and we need the place, mm -hmm. the date, but we need the time to be really accurate. Okay. Because as you know, you know, the the, the planets rotating 24 hours. So what's coming up over the horizon is changing every two hours roughly. And that's called your ascendant. Mm -hmm. This sets the tone of the whole chart. Mm -hmm. So what's rising in the sky mm -hmm. is setting the whole tone for you in terms of how it's like the lens you see life through. Okay. That's called your ascendant or rising sign. Okay. Your rising sign is Libra. And Libra is an air sign. Mm -hmm. So this is more the working with the intellect. Mm -hmm. Libra is also about balance. Mm -hmm. Libra's the scales, mm -hmm. right? So we have balance. We have diplomacy. It's very partnership oriented, mm -hmm. wanting to work together with mm -hmm. other people and teams. So the houses are fields of influence. In your case, ninth house up here, mm -hmm. top of the chart, is representing higher education. Mm -hmm. uh, it's representing developing the mind. Uh, it's representing foreign travel. It's, it's expansion of what's possible in the world. So let me back up for a second. So mm -hmm. this is about what, what we've been saying is about sort of what kind of person I might be, what kind yeah. of personality I have. And then does this kind of horoscope um, get more specific about events that are going to happen in the future or just people's tendencies? Uh, no, we, we can, we do both. Okay. So this is your, your map. Mm -hmm. This is your star map. Or this it. is this is giving me a blueprint. This is your ba basic makeup. Okay. Okay. As an astrologer, to look at it, um, this is permanent mm -hmm. for you. So then, what we do is we can look at any particular time mm -hmm. in a person's life. Okay. Now, when people come to see me, they uh, we're, they're usually looking at what's going on now, or maybe this next year, or right. you know, roughly at this time. And so I do what's called a transit. There's different things you can do. I do a transits chart mm -hmm. uh, because it's the most literal. Mm -hmm. It's literally where the planets are and transiting, you know, in the in the orbit and how they may be aspecting your birth chart. So what we do is when we look at predictions, mm -hmm. we're looking at what is that nature and what may be aspecting it. Maybe what what is what is what's another word I can use for that? Um, what is playing on it? Okay. So basically, it's another way of saying, what's up for you? Okay, okay. yeah, what's up for me? What's up for you? One of the things that does jump at me is that you've had Uranus, this is Uranus in Aries. It's been in Aries since about March. The planet Uranus has been in Aries since, I think, March 2011. Uh -huh. So about seven years it's in there. Right? It has an 84-year orbit. And it is working its way through your seventh house. What that tells me without knowing you is, this could be very interesting, good news for your love life. Mm -hmm. And because Uranus in Aries is, is wanting to, Uranus is, we call it the awakener. Mm -hmm. Okay, we call it the awakener or the rejuvenator. Mm -hmm. And it's in Aries, it's like wanting new energy, new action. Sounds great. I have a lot of decisions to make about how many long trips to go on um, in the next six months or so. Okay. And uh, it could be anywhere from about three to about six. And uh, six seems like kind of too much. And mm -hmm. is there any reason I should go on every trip that I could go on? So I can see that more opportunities are coming to you. I mean, no question. And there's, and, and travel would be one of them. However, you don't have to take everything that comes along, right? And, and there's more of a relaxing into some of this. It's in, in your, here's one thing I'm gonna tell you for sure, mm -hmm. is you need to trust your intuition more. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that as a blanket statement, I'm mm -hmm. saying that to you. Because you have planets lining up in such a way that are suggesting that your, your intuition is opening even more. This could even indicate like a, more, like a spiritual opening. Okay. Some sort of, you know, uh, it, it could be through religious study, it could be through an experience, but it's a spiritual opening. It's an opening in that consciousness. 
this is indicating a lot of intuition. You already are extremely intuitive based on your birth chart. This is tied to the travel question. Okay, okay. what so does that mean? So this is, I'm not going to say taking it easier. Let me find the words for you. More time at the spa? Yes. And oh, you know excellent. what, you know, honestly,